The company behind the Elastic Stack has acknowledged the increased use of the Elastic Stack for the security logging and developed the Elastic SIM. This is a dedicated module for Kibana. It aggregates indexes specific to security monitoring. It's meant to be a starting point for investigations and it's available from version 7.2 onwards. To put it much simpler, if you decide to get started with the Elastic Stack while watching this course or shortly after, the latest version of the Elastic Stack will come with the Elastic SIM. The best way to get acquainted with the Elastic SIM is through an actual demo. We'll walk through the SIM app. And after, we'll explore some additional dashboards that contain more relevant data. When opening the SIM app, we are greeted by the overview. At a glance, here we can get some basic information on the host and network events generated in the last 24 hours. The host section gives us an overview of the environment, including the number of identified hosts, user authentications and unique IPs observed across the network. Scrolling down, we get more information about the host authentications and uncommon processes executed. Moving to the Network Events tab, we have a similar overview of the network events, flows and DNS queries, as well as a map that can be used for geolocation. More interesting, if we scroll down, we have a breakdown by source IP that aggregates the quantity of information sent and received as well as the number of corresponding flows. The destination IP's view correlates the domain information as well. Scrolling a bit further, we have a section of the top DNS domains as well as the total number of queries. And we'll use this specific view in a future demo. The last tab is dedicated for timelines. This is where we can add events from different sources into a single timeline to establish the infection chain. The best part about the Elastic Stack is that it also comes with built-in dashboards corresponding to each bit's category. The WinLogBit dashboard gives us an overview of the WinLogBit data captured. We can also filter through this by selecting a specific time period. Moving to PacketBit, this gives us a broad understanding about the network traffic that traverses the network. And we can drill down a bit more into the subcategories, for example, the Network Flow Dashboard. We went over them to give you a small preview, and we will be using them extensively throughout the course. The analysis approach that we'll be adopting throughout this course is to leverage the built-in CMAP and corresponding dashboards, and no other tools. We will identify indicators for suspicious activity. And we'll achieve this by hunting for specific event IDs, identify malicious behavior by correlating these events, and finally establish if it's a threat.